Hello everyone, welcome back to TechLog. In our daily life, it is pretty much common to use a lot of websites and while accessing them, we may encounter many errors. In today's video, we are going to discuss about one of the website error, which is error 404, the HTML response code. Okay, so let's get started. First, let's understand what is error 404. The 404 code means that a server could not find a client requested web page. This is the code that tells us that a requested web page is not available for the user. Then this code 404 and similar to this other response status code are part of the web's HTML means hypertext transfer protocol response codes. The error 404 code is one of the most frequent error a web user can encounter. Also, and we can see the variation of the error messages that include 404 error is like 404 page not found or the requested URL was not found like this. Now let's look deeper into that and what to do if we get a 404 error. If we get the 404 error, we can start by doing this like to double check the URL for typos. So it can be a mistaken character can result in the 404 error. Like instead of uh, example.com or google.com, we are typing something else like that. Then we can try to refresh the web page. It can be possible that 404 error may be a momentary glitch during accessing the website then search the web try to find the page through a web search since it may have moved to a different url it is very much possible that the url got changed that's why we can try to search in the search bar directly on the web page then use another device so it is possible that there is a client error or issue with the user's browser if the page work on another device, clear the first device cases or cookies or you can reset the browser also. Then contact the website. So if everything you have done with and then it's still the you are getting the 404 error, then we should connect with the website owner or whoever managed that website. Now moving on and let's see how to identify and fix 404 error on your own site there are many steps but particularly we can look into this few steps like we can use a website analysis tool like google search console or any other analytics tool to identify links that result in 404 so on this analytic tool we can identify how many hits we have for the 404 error second if the URL for a page has changed, the old URL should be retained as a redirected file. So redirects are the easiest way to fix a 404 error. In case means the URL is changed, so we can use a redirection of the URL from old to new. So anybody who's trying to access the old URL will be switched to the new URL automatically or redirect to the new URL automatically. Then we can like also restore the deleted web page as long as there is no business reason to keep it deleted if there is a reason to keep it deleted then the link should be also redirected means we can either redirect the link itself from the deleted website or we can redirect the whole url toward a new website other than just to make the user or just to make the uh, people aware whoever accessing the url we can create a custom web page like a custom error response that can contain a message and can encourage the users to send a note to the webmaster so that the situation can be fixed so this is how we can imitate this 404 error and identify it okay so let's summarize it as 404 is a html response code so it is a error type the error type of it is a browser based because this kind of error you can get in the browser based application and including the error 404 we can get multiple variation into it like sometime we can get error 404 then 
404 not found http error 404 then just directly not found or sometime page not found then the requested url not found in the server the page cannot be found or we can't find the page you are looking for so this kind of also error messages we can see on while accessing a url or a web browser or website so that also relate to the error 404 the reason could be for a 404 is that the issue with the website link or the no proper redirection or there is a glitch or there is a uh, problem in the re reassertion of the URL or many more things. So this was the basic fundamental of error website error 404. I hope this video is helpful for you. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.